And it is now time for us to talk about our first title fight on the card, the core main event. It is Dominic Reyes who is taking on Jan Blachowicz. Now an interesting bit, a uh, little tidbit for you as we start this um, segment. The last time a non-John Jones or Daniel Cormier light heavyweight title fight happened in the UFC was UFC 113, the Auto Machida versus Shogun Shua back in 2010. So 10 years those two had dominated this division. This is, really for a lot of people, the start of a new era at the light heavyweight division. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited too. I think that um, John Jones hasn't really been an exciting fighter for his past maybe four or five fights. Uh, the Cormier fight was his last like really entertaining fight. Uh, I mean, I guess the Reyes one wasn't too bad, but I just think that we're in for a, a, you know, a fresh surprise here. I think that both of these guys, Reyes and Blahovic, are um, – you know, in their physical primes right now, I think they're both never been better than they are right now. And it's going to be really exciting to see them match up. I think it's a extremely close matchup. I hadn't really thought about it too much. It kind of crept up on me. I didn't even realize it was this week. But these past few days, I've been watching a lot of their fights. I rewatched the Reyes fight with Jones. I watched his Ozdemir fight. And I was rewatching a lot of Blahovic footage, too. And I'm really excited for this one. Um, Carl, I'm going to let you go first. And you give me your uh, your prediction on this one. How do you see this well, one Well, the first going? thing I need to bring up, which I do have a big, bit of an issue with, you sort of touched on it. There. There, was that the light heavyweight division has always been one of the marquee divisions of the UFC. When you look at the people like Chuck Liddell, Tito Ortiz, and then of course you had John Jones and his dominance on top. This fight almost sort of feels like it's been crapped on by the UFC. It's almost sort of like, here we've got a title fight for the sake of it. You'd think that the marquee division in the UFC, these guys should be headlining their own show. And yet here they are as the core main to a a division which is a, a smaller weight class than what they currently fight in, which I do think is a bit of a bit of a kick in the teeth to uh, Dom and John. Um, and I think as well, the light heavyweight division gets a lot of grief from people on the internet. Yet, I think that division is actually a lot better than people give it credit for. Yes, the top five maybe isn't as good as it was, say, five or six years ago. But you look at the guys coming up, you look at people like Pohovska, you look at Nikita Krylov, Ankalaev, Kutalaba, um, Alexander Rakic as well. You've got some really entertaining light heavyweights all coming to the fore. And I think the UFC need to recognise they've got themselves a good division here. They need to promote it. Yeah, I agree. I think that the light heavyweight now is, is stronger than it was for the past five years. I think the... You said the marquee division. I think that's kind of teetered out a little bit. I mean, we had the DC JBJ rivalry, which kind of reignited a little bit, but I think it's kind of shifted from maybe light heavyweight to more towards lightweight and welterweight. And I mean, I, you gotta blame John Jones for that. And he sometimes hasn't had the most exciting fights. He hasn't been active. He got stripped of his belt four times or something like that. So there's constant drama going on with the light heavyweight division. And I think that that's why we saw a lot of criticism, like you mentioned. But yeah, the, the guys you mentioned, Yiri and Ray Kitch and Ankalaya, those guys are all coming up, very skilled, entertaining fighters. And I think that the light heavyweight division is in great hands. And one of these guys is going to be a champion. I agree this could headline a pay-per-view on its own, but they stack this one up. I do agree that Israel should be the, uh, the main event over them. I think that that fight is more yes. deserving of a main event. But agreed that this could this could have headlined uh, any pay-per-view from the past few years. I mean, it's a great fight. Really excited for this one. And uh, I still want to hear you go first when, when it comes down to analyzing this one. I feel like I've been going first. So uh, I want to I hear your thoughts on uh, how you think they match up, Carl. On the deep end there. I think this is a really intriguing one in terms of the two backgrounds of both fighters. On the one hand, you've got Dominic Reyes, who you've got to remember this is Dominic Reyes's 14th MMA fight. So he's still a relative newcomer. 29 years old, only had the one loss, which was against John Jones, a fight which... I agree with a lot of people. I thought that Dominic Rios won that fight. Uh, first three rounds I all gave to him. Um, very difficult guy to take down. A lot of power in his hands. But it, it's a strange power in that he finds a lot of success as a counter striker. He catches a lot of guys coming in. We saw that with Cannonier. We saw that with Chris Weidman. But he doesn't fight like a conventional counter striker. If you look at the way say, like Adesanya does where he tries to invite people in and then catches them quick. Dom just seems to happen 
to have this power. Um, and he, he's obviously he's placed to it really well. Stays on the outside. I think the w the way he fought against John Jones in those first two rounds was very impressive. He made John make the pace of the fight, and he and John doesn't like that. John likes to use his reach, and John was having a lot of success in that regard. Um, obviously, the cardio is going to be a big issue as well. I think that was just fighting that style where you're staying on the outside, you're using a lot of lateral movement. It takes a lot out of you, and we saw that when he fought against John Jones. But I think that's something which comes with experience. I think he's going to close that hole in his game. The big problem he has, though, is he's fighting a guy in Jan Blachowicz who is an absolute tank of a man. You look at this guy's build, his physique, carries a lot of muscle. He's got a lot of power as well, especially short-range power. We saw it against Luke Rockhold, um, and we saw it against Corey Anderson as well. Um, I just don't see Dominic Rias landing that big knockout punch, whereas I can with Blachowicz. Yeah, I, I agree with that that first point so far. Um, and when you're talking about the records, that's kind of you know what a lot of people look at when they're predicting fights. They just take a quick glance at the record. Um, that's not really indicative of their skills. But when you look at their their recent fights, I do think that these guys' record is yes. worth talking about. I mean, Reyes had a relatively easy path to the title. He knocked out Christensen, Kimball, and Weidman. Those guys aren't really three high-level light heavyweights. You know, Weidman, of course, is a very established fighter, but just did not deserve to be at light heavyweight at all. They threw him to the wolves there. So he's left with, you know, three decisive wins. Cannoneer, he knocked him out before, you know, Cannoneer really started making good adjustments. Owen St. Pru has never been an elite-level fighter, although he's a tough guy to deal with. And then Vulcan Ozdemir, he had a very close fight with him. I did score that for Reyes, but I thought Reyes looked vulnerable in that fight. He ate some big punches. He had got taken down in that fight by a non-wrestler in Vulcan, which was why I was so shocked to see him stuff John Jones' takedowns. I mean, he stuffed a lot of takedowns. He stood up from takedowns. Real athletic, hard guy to hold down. And as you mentioned, the cardio is a concern. Um, he did definitely slow down in rounds four and five of that fight versus Jones, but you know, some guys are good at fighting tired. I think that Dustin Poirier is probably the best one of all, but I thought Reyes fought well while he was tired. I mean, he put up consistent output to give uh, Jones some trouble. He wasn't getting taken down. He was still popping back up from all those takedowns. So he hung in there tough, even though he was definitely tiring out in those last rounds. Totally agree with you that he won one rounds one through three. He put up an incredible pace in that one. And he's gonna have to pace himself yes. a little different here because he threw me he threw maybe 70, 80 strikes in those first three rounds. He needs to drop that down to fifty or sixty because he needs to continue that consistent output throughout five rounds. It's there's no good in, in beating a guy for three rounds because the judges are inconsistent and they gave that fight to Jones anyway. And rewatching it, I thought it was closer than I thought live. I thought Reyes won one and three clearly jones won four and five clearly it really comes down to how you score round two and that was a close one i did give it to reyes still on rewatch but it was a lot closer than i remembered live um again carl i'm agreeing with your point about blahovich i do think blahovich has more of that one punch knockout power and i thought it showed clearly in that fight versus anderson i mean the guy has good counter punching skills uh, when, and when he lets his hands go he has uh, nearly elite boxing really good boxing skills he throws a good double jab power in both hands i mean he dropped luke rockhold with the left hand he dropped Corey anderson with the right hand so he's got power on both sides and when you're looking at that competition as i was talking about earlier jan blahovich i mean Seven and one in his past eight fights, uh, decision wins, knockout wins, um, submission wins. I mean, he's doing it all different ways. He beat Krylov, Rockhold. I mean, those are good wins. Corey Anderson, most notably. So I think that Jan Blachowicz is the more proven fighter. I thought I think he's fought and beaten in better, the better competition, and I think he's more well-rounded. I think he's the better offensive wrestler. I think he's a little bit better in, ter in terms of the clinch, and I think he's just a, a better striker in terms of uh, more effective damage. I think Blachowicz is going to be landing the harder punches here. And one point about the Reyes fight I will mention with Jones is Reyes was throwing a ton of output in those early rounds. He was throwing a lot of punches. 
And one big difference in this fight is John Jones doesn't counterpunch. He has this terrible habit where he, he covers up and he runs away. And he was doing that a few times in that fight where Reyes was throwing combinations. Jones would kind of just trot away on the cage, do that tall man's defense. Blahovich isn't going to do that. He's going to bite down on the mouthpiece and counterpunch and be willing to try Reyes in the pocket. And that's something Jones wasn't going to do. So that's going to be a big difference in this fight. I think that the boxing exchanges are going to be competitive. I don't think Reyes is going to be able to leg kick as easily because Blahovic actually checks leg kicks. He's done that in a lot of his fights. And, you know, I think that people can tell at this point that I'm leaning with Jan Blahovic in this fight. I mean, the odds in this one currently have um, Dominic Reyes as a minus 260 favorite, which puts his chances at around 70, 72%. I mean, I think that's way off. I think that... This is more of a, a 55, 45 type of fight and advantage for Reyes. I agree that Reyes should be the slight favorite here, but I think that minus 150 for Reyes would be more appropriate if you if you know odds well. And I think that I really like Jan Blahovic's chances here. I think he checks leg kicks. I think he wins some boxing exchanges, might even hurt Reyes. Reyes with punches along the way and I'm going to pick this one to go to the decision I think it's going to be a competitive fight and I'm going to pick Jan Blahovic to win this one by 48-47 decision so I know that was a lot there I know I had a lot of different points but what do you think about what I said Carl? I totally agree with you I think especially when it comes to I think there's a lot of people out there who are really underrating Jan Blahovic's chances in this fight uh, I ran a poll on the YouTube channel just earlier today. I posted this uh, just a couple of hours ago. And at the moment, they got Jan Blachowicz 24%, Dominic Reyes 76%, which a lot of that's obviously going to do with the John Jones performance from Reyes, where I did think he performed very, very well. But people are underrated Blachowicz. He does have power. He has, dare I say, more of a, a well-rounded game. I can maybe see him trying to go for a takedown to just throw Dominic Reyes off. Because I think a big factor in why Reyes performed so badly against Volkan was he wasn't expecting Volkan to go for takedowns. And I think he's maybe expecting Blahovitz to keep the standing as well. So if Blahovitz does try mixing in a couple of takedowns, I'm going to be interested to see on how Dom handles that. And as Great we point. saw with Krylov, Blahovitz does have a submission game to him. Yeah, great point. I mean, he, I mean, I, I honestly haven't made that conclusion about the Volkan fight, but I think that's accurate. I think that Volkan was knocking dudes out on the feet. It wasn't really a takedown type of guy, and then all of a sudden he starts shooting takedowns. A very real possibility here that Blahovic attempts takedowns. Great point. I would love the story as well of Blahovic if Blahovic was to win this fight because this was a guy who had a very slow start to his UFC career. I mean, the guy lost to Pat Cummings. And I remember Fight Night Gdansk, he was on the undercard uh, for Devin Clark, who I think just come into the UFC. And there was a lot of people saying if he lost that fight, he was going to get cut. And yet, he's won seven out of his past eight, going to be fighting for a title, could potentially be Poland's second UFC champion. I think that's a fantastic story. Yeah, huge turnaround. He's reinvented his career, as I mentioned, uh, seven and one in his past eight. I think he actually might have been like an underdog to Devin Clark in that fight, which was is crazy in retrospect. And he, you know, he won that fight pretty decisively. Well-rounded fighter, yeah, big fan of Jan Blahovic. If I had to choose between the two, it would be very. It's very risky to go against Dominic Reyes, considering what we've seen in his uh, thirteen so fights, and especially the John Jones fight. But. I don't see Dominic Reyes knocking out Jan Blachowicz. I do see Jan Blachowicz knocking out Dominic Reyes. So I'm going to go with you. I think there's smart money on Jan Blachowicz to win this fight. Yeah, so do you think he'll win by knockout or do you think it'll be decision? I'm going to say knockout. I'm going to say a late knockout, possibly fourth round. Yeah, I mean, I think it's real, real possible that the power in his hands... It's a, it cannot be ignored. I mean, he's a solid boxer. And I just think that um, the way that Reyes was reacting to punches versus Volkan, I don't think it was very well, uh, good. I mean, I just don't think that we've seen Reyes fight a, a very good boxer. I think mm -hmm. that Volkan is probably the best boxer that we've seen him fight. And Volkan is decent. He's decent everywhere. He's improving. I thought that he made some uh, more improvements after that Reyes loss. 
I thought that he looked uh, the best he ever had in the, the fight right after that against Ir Latifi. That was a very so, good performance. So I, I just tend to think that Reyes is getting is getting overrated. I think he's a little unproven still. I think that he's definitely getting over-respected by the betting market for that close decision with uh, John Jones. But I think that if Jan Blachowicz was fighting Jones that night, I think there's a good chance that he would have won that fight. He could have even knocked out Jones in the first three rounds with the way that Jones was fighting. Just looked extremely poor in that fight. So I think that Reyes has a, has a chance to win this fight. He's going to have to put up that consistent volume like he did. He's going to have to use his range, his jab, and his, uh, his kicks to keep Blachowicz out of boxing range. I just don't trust him to do so. Um, and the one thing I have written down about the, is about cardio here is, is that Blahovich has been scheduled for five rounds in three of his past four fights. Reyes has only been two of his past three. And we've seen them both go the distance one time, the full five-round distance. And even though Reyes slowed down a little bit in rounds four and five uh, versus Jones, I think that was still a better cardio performance than Jan Blahovich's fight against Jacare Souza, which was a completely abysmal fight. I did not rewatch that fight this week. I could not get myself to do it. It was just 25 minutes of cage stalling and clinching where pretty much nothing happened. So that was not a good, uh, you know, spot on the record for Jan Blachowicz. It's definitely a concern in that fight that he kind of just was content to have that low output fight. But I think this is just such a different matchup. I don't think it's going to turn out like that at all. And I think that Jan has more ways to win, and I'm going to be picking and betting him here.